Question 1, Part C from C34, January 2019, IAL. Um, this question again about trigonometry. Um, tri identities here. We've got to express 28 sine theta, cosine theta plus 8 sine squared theta in the form a sine 2 theta plus b cosine 2 theta plus c. Okay, so over here, we see we've gone from a single angle to double angle. Okay, so it's got something to do with the double angle formulae, all right, which um, are not given to you in the formula book. However, if you do forget them, okay, it's quite easy for you to use the formula books to actually remember them. Now, in the formula of the book, you will find the identities, um, the addition formulas, like sine a plus or minus b, that's how it's written, is equal to sine a times cosine b, and then I have plus and minus um, cosine a times sine b. Okay, something like that. Or you could say sine b cosine a. Same thing, all right? And for cosine a plus minus b, you will get um, cosine a times cosine b, and the other way around, the minus plus and sine a times sine b. So these formulas are given to you in the formula booklet. So if you do forget about the double formulae, you could use these to do that. So for example, for sine two theta, you could think of sine two theta as being sine theta plus theta. That's the same as sine two theta. In which case, you'd get something in this form. So you'll have sine theta times, oops, write that meter. Okay, I'm starting to play up a bit. You'll have sine theta. Okay, sine theta times cosine theta. And you'll have plus and you'll have cosine theta times sine theta. Which is basically the same as 2 sine theta. Sine theta, cosine theta, sine theta, cosine theta, 2 sine theta. So you can say that sine of 2 theta, sorry, just spit meter here. So yeah, you can say that the sine of 2 theta is the same as 2 sine theta, cosine theta. And for cosine 2 theta, it's the same as saying cosine theta plus theta. That's cosine 2 theta, right? Which will be cosine theta, cosine theta, which is cosine squared theta, right? Cosine theta times cosine theta. Plus, or in fact, it should be minus, because this is a plus. If that's a plus, that would be a minus. Sine theta times sine theta, which is sine squared theta. Okay, so these are the basic um, formulae that you need to know. But as I said, if you forget them, you can, you know, um, derive them like this. Now, what we want to do is we want to change uh, sine theta, cosine theta, okay, into, so that's always got something related to this. Sine theta, cosine theta will have something related to, to this, okay, because you've got sine theta, cosine theta uh, here, and you've got sine two theta there. And then you've got to have cosine two theta, got sine squared theta, you want it to become something to do with cosine two theta. So I want to have something which is in terms of sine squared theta and cosine two theta. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rewrite this. Now I know that cosine squared theta is one minus sine squared theta. And I've got minus another sine squared theta. So this is the form that I'll need to be able to transform sine squared theta into cosine two theta. So this say basically we end up with cosine two theta is equal to one minus two sine squared theta. So these are the two that I'm concerned with. Now, by the time your exam comes, you should be very much familiar with these without having to actually derive them like I have done here. But if you do forget, you know, all is not lost, you can derive them from this Okay, from these two, which are in your formula book. Okay, you can derive them from these two. So now what we want to do here is we want to use these two that I've highlighted to transform sine theta, cosine theta into something to do with sine two theta. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, I know that 
um, if I rearrange this, I know that I can say that sine, oops, don't need the horizon anyway. Um, I can say that the sine of 2 theta is the same as a half of sine theta. The sine of, sorry, the other way around. Excuse me. The other way around. If I rearrange this, so I'm going to say that sine theta cosine theta, sine theta cosine theta, okay, is the same as saying a half of sine 2 theta. Okay, so sine theta times cosine theta is the same as, uh, as a half sine 2 theta. So what I can do is I can replace the sine theta cosine theta here with a half sine 2 theta. So I've got 20, 28 times. Now instead of writing sine theta cosine theta, I can write instead of it um, a half sine 2 theta. So I have a half of sine 2 theta. Okay, so that's that part sorted out. I've got plus 8 sine squared theta. Now, I can rewrite sine squared theta, okay, from here. Okay, I can rewrite sine squared. I can say that sine squared theta, if I rearrange that, is going to be um, a half times 1 minus cosine 2 theta. Because I can bring the 2 sine squared theta into this side, subtract cosine 2 theta from both sides, I have 1 minus cosine 2 theta, then divide by 2 to get rid of the 2, so the sine squared theta. So I can replace, okay, the um, 8 sine squared theta, so I'm going to take my 8 sine squared theta, so I'll write 8 times, oops, I'll write 8, and instead of sine squared theta, I'm going to write a half one, uh, times 1 minus, in fact I'll just, to make it easier, I'll just multiply by a half and write it down, to make life easier. So instead of writing, that'll be a half minus a half cosine 2 theta. Okay, so that's the whole expression now, transformed from single angle to double angle. So I have to just tidy this up now. So 28 times a half is 14. So I have 14 times sine 2 theta. And I have 8 times a half, which is 4. So plus 4. And I have minus 4, because 8 times a half is 4, times cosine 2 theta. So it kind of looks like what we want to write here. So we'll just re rewrite it so you've got everything in the right form. So you can say that um, that's equal to um, 14. I want the sine first, so 14 sine 2 theta plus, well, there's a minus there, minus 4 cosine 2 theta, and you've got plus 3, which is your plus 4 here, plus 4. So we can say that A is 14, and B is negative 4, and C is positive 4. And that's part C done, and part um, D I'll do in the next video. Okay.